Hey family, welcome back to the channel, Celebrity Scandalous. Well, there have been some new developments in this Christian Keys saga. Um, most of you know that Christian Keys has accused a Hollywood heavy hitter of making inappropriate advances towards him in order for him to advance his career. Many of us initially thought that it was one of, one of two billionaires. I thought it was I, just not accusing him but the first person that came to my mind was Tyler Perry because that's the only person that I've known him to be associated with and when he spoke about Hollywood again I thought of Tyler Perry in terms of Robert Smith I knew that he had given money for HBCU um to pay off loans and the reason I even knew that is because I gotta pay some uh college tuition off for my kid and I was like Man, he only paid it to Morehouse. What about our school? But anyway, that's just me. I didn't know him to be necessarily associated with Hollywood, so I did not think of him at all. So apparently in the last, I'm going to say 48 hours or so, somebody made a comment saying it wasn't Tyler Perry. He allegedly liked the tweet. Then people were saying, oh, see, he cleared Tyler Perry's name. And then he made an additional statement saying, you know, unofficially, but tweeting, um, I didn't clear anybody. So there's a lot of back and forth online as to what's really going on. At this point, I'm just going to say he has not cleared Tyler Perry. So for those of us assuming that it is, I mean, he's not clearing it up. So that's going to lead a lot of people to still believe that it could possibly be Tyler Perry. Hollywood Unlocked just posted a comment of... Christian Key is saying people in the comments have been saying the person's name who uh, who harassed him. So yet again, he's affirming that some of us know who it is or we've identified the person. So this is just, um, you know, it's like he's giving us these, they're calling it blues clues. He's giving us these clues without really outing the person. So it just kind of makes it, I don't know what what is the aim here is it do you want to settle with the person behind the scenes do you want to press criminal charges are you really trying to save other victims like it's giving mixed messages to many individuals but again we'll just have to stay tuned and see you know what he actually exposes maybe he's really just struggling with what the outcome is going to be i believe him saying as much as he's already said that he's already put a mark on himself he's already marked himself to be blacklisted because the folks who support this kind of network and behavior in Hollywood they're definitely not going to want to work with him and so the powers to be probably are going to make it very difficult for you know him to get future work people are going to be apprehensive um so you know anytime you're considered like um for lack of a better term a whistleblower you know it just it you kind of mark yourself. So there is some bravery for him coming forward. But again, we just have to wait and see what is the outcome. What is, what is he trying to accomplish here? The other thing I want to talk about is um, many of us that have been fans of Tyler Perry, which I've been. I've seen his plays. Uh, Walter Lee Hampton outed him like years ago. So when this story first broke, <laughs> the first thing I did, you know, about a few days ago, like I think as soon as I saw it, was go back to Walter Lee Hampton's videos to try to see if I could, you know, see anything or, you know, like, was, were there some clues in what he said and how could I tie it to this current story? And so I got into his comments, or actually I went to his IG page and said, hey, you know, did you see this story? Everybody's waiting for you to respond. Um, so I haven't gone back to see what he said, if he responded to me, however, um, a day, a couple days ago, he did make a video and he said that, and this was all his opinion, that Christian Keys was definitely talking about Tyler Perry, allegedly. So I was in his comments and I said, there's been some rumors going around or some talks that after you outed Tyler Perry years ago, that you were handled, you know, like, because people were saying he was beat up, he was silenced, all these things. And he said, that's all BS. So I think for a lot of people saying that, you know, Tyler Perry took any action against him, maybe 
you know, whether they're saying that he beat him up or he silenced him. It sounds like Walter was not silenced. It doesn't sound like he was sued and definitely don't look like he was beat up. I mean, this man is very muscular and, you know, you could not that that means anything. But so, I, you know, let's just clear up those rumors. It sounds like at this point he did out Tyler Perry without any repercussions. So, I mean, I think there's some truth to what he was saying. So it doesn't seem like he was sued. Doesn't seem like there have been any major repercussions against him. So I believe there's some validity to what he was saying in terms of Tyler being part of the, the community back in the day and not giving credit to the to the person who the actual Medea character that he based it on, you know, the person who he allegedly stole the idea from. So I believe there's a, a lot of validity in all of this. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Listen, jump in the comments, but let's be respectful to each other. And I'd like to hear what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.